Hello beautiful minds out there and welcome to Buy Theories. My name is Faded and today we are going to discuss a topic, a topic about how easily hackers mine cryptocurrencies for free. So uh, in this topic we are going to discuss how, what are the techniques hackers use to mine cryptocurrencies and that too for free without any subscriptions and anything like that. And we would also like to suggest that this is a demo strictly for educational purposes only. Please don't use it for personal benefits. Now let's move on to the tutorial and let's learn what is basically a mining is, cryptocurrency mining is. So going out to the tutorial and I'm reading it loud. Crypto mining refers to the process of gaining cryptocurrencies by solving cryptographic equations with the use of high power computers. So th this is a point to be noted and um, this is high power computers and there is complex encryption techniques. You can go through many of the channels and learn about cryptocurrency mining. On the, for the sake of this tutorial, we'll just move forward on how easily hackers can mine cryptocurrencies for free. And let's, let's go on to the tutorial now. For that, you just need to go to your browser and just open new tab. Let me get out of my full screen mode. And we just have to create a Gmail account and go to google.com. Yeah. So when you go there, click on new notebook and you'll get a page like this. So after that, after creating a notebook, what you'll see, you'll delete everything and you'll get a blank page like this. So what basically is Coolup notebook? So Colab is a research product of Google which allows anybody, any any coder to write or and execute arbitrary Python code through the browser. So I'll tell you an example just to determine what I'm talking about. If we try to write Python arbitrary code to get the CPU information of this machine, we write LSCPU and we get the information like this. So it's it's a platform where we can apply a re, uh, platform where we can write or execute arbitrary Python codes online. Now, after entering Colab, uh, we need to find out which graphic card is connected to this device because we have selected runtime GPU. Let me just check once again. Yeah, it's GPU connected, and let us check what a CPU type is here by tapping this command. And how um, how much uh, free memory do I have on the system? And after that, I'll try to search which GPU is connected to this system. For that, we need to type the code of NVIDIA. Uh, just so, yeah. So here we can see uh, Tesla K80 is connected. So we can use it for cryptocurrency mining. And uh, now. I would like to take you to the definition once again and uh, now you can see there were two points to be considered one was high power computers and other was complex encryption techniques so one of them is solved now I showed you the way to get a GPU from your Gmail account and that will work as a high power computers in this tutorial and after that we need something that decrypts this complete complex encryption uh, and for that the term is miner. We use a miner and the name of the miner is log miner. We'll just search it on Google. And please do check, always go to the GitHub repository to check the links. And we copy the link address like this, go to your machine and, and paste it here. And we need to write this command, which is wget taxi. This command retrieves the file from the GitHub servers to your system. You just check if it's downloaded. Yeah, it's downloaded. And you can see here uh, the extension of the file is tar.gz. We need to extract it from there. For it, we need to type the code tarxf and the name of the file. I'll show you the file has been extracted in the directory named 1.33 so uh, we need to remove the targets of the file for that we need to write the miner yeah and 
the file is removed. The purpose of removing this file is not saving the file uh, because miners are considered as uh, malicious files for Google Cola. So we need to remove it as soon as your works get done. And after that, we need to <coughs> go inside this directory. And for that, we need to, uh, we'll type the command modular cd 1.33. And we are inside the directory. Cheers. And now, uh, now, uh, what we have is uh, we need to go to a mining pool. So, according to the definitions, we have uh, high-powered computers installed, uh, miners for solving encryptions. Now, we need to go to a mining pool from where we can receive those transactions or the, those encrypted files for our graphic cards to decrypt it so basically we connect our graphic card to a mining pool for that i'm using unminable you can use several other mining pools we can also discuss about it in several other videos and for the sake of this tutorial i'm using shiba coin you can search from various coins to mine from and uh, for the sake of this tutorial i'm using shiba coin and here we can see they have shown us many other tutorials on how to mine Shiba directly on your PC if you have a coin also but I prefer it using from a command line so it's up to your preferences I'll just copy and paste my Shiba address real quick over here and it shows the reports like this and to get connected click on start and this shows complete address so we have to we have chosen lol miner as our miner right we'll go there we'll go there and it shows the technique of how to connect lol miner with your address and uh, to uh, to this pool so this is the uh, address of the pool and here you have to apply your address and there's a dot in between right, which mentions your worker name worker is basically your name of the rig or name of this collab in particular in this tutorial if I'm using it and it's stratum eth proxy uh, yeah this is a part of the code and we need to apply it over here so basically we need to, it's a command line and it's Linux we need to remove dot exe nothing and we run the executable by dos slash on Linux. So we need everything to be perfect. So I'll edit the name of the coin as SHIB, which is mentioned on the website. You can check it over there. And what I've copied is my Shiba void address. I'll apply it here exactly like this. And then I'll give it a worker name, which I would recommend. As faded shiba and then I'll remove this pause then I'll hit this button and this should start mining I'm not joking guys it will start mining cryptocurrencies so you can see it has started mining you can see all of the process console log and below this code And yes it has started it takes a couple of minutes to for it to show on uh, this platform mining pool to get reflected on mining pool now let's keep it running and there are certain hacks to keep this uh, page running like uh, there are certain things to click this again again and keep it keeps the page running and we'll discuss this about if you need any information I'm getting a speed of 2.8 mega hash per second for my script friendship so that's all for today and hope you enjoyed the video guys and uh, so as you can see uh, it's currently running and I think it's uh, showing on unmineable also let me refresh this page refresh this page and yeah you can see this worker I had renamed it and it's working currently I am getting zero mega hash on pool speed but eventually it will grow uh, we just have to let it run for some time and 
for your sake of information I'd like to show you the name was Faded Shiba yeah okay. please do like share subscribe and do comment what you want in this cont uh, content like this and please support thank you thank you so much